Aaron Zev here, and welcome to the flip overview. For the moment I thought we were back in the OG quest times where there was just like an avalanche of zombie games releasing and with this one in terms of quality it kinda does so I wonder why something like that is coming out in this day and age where there's just no place for something like that in the store. So The Flip is an arcade adventure zombie game where in the cooperative social scenario you need to blast your way through the the nanotech infused undead people and make your way to the chopper to be extracted from this hell. Playing this or even taking a couple steps in the beginning, it was very clear that this game was primarily built for the co-op gameplay. Somehow I managed to sliver myself from it and I tested it out purely alone. That way I had a better understanding of what's going on without being distracted by other people and there's like another situation that some games tend to sell themselves better when you have other teammates but to me specifically, the whole project needs to be backed by its quality. The flip doesn't really represent much from what I've seen. The visuals are absolutely not impressive, gameplay kind of basic, zombies aren't fun to deal with because you need to like destroy certain points to make them incapacitated but it's just kind of like a struggle. Funnily enough, I read now in the description they mention that they have a revolutionary body count technology, which I don't know what that means exactly but I did notice that the number of moving objects in front of you is way higher than in any other game I've tried. Granted because of that everything else is kind of diminished to make this feature work but then again we've seen so many arcade games by now of this type that this one just pales in comparison especially for its price it's asking. I don't see the future for it and I'm kind of confused why people enjoy it but like I said a lot of corporate stuff could be just turned around in terms of the enjoyment does not matter the level the project represents. Let's go on a zombie mayhem. While many a soldier has fallen, the hoop carried by these survivors burns bright. Step forth into safe haven. Oof, not a lot of stuff good going on is here. <laughs> I would like to start with the settings first. So I'll just configure stuff. There are like no specific, it's just Hello. the general. Oh, someone's here. I have to. Hello. Well, I do know that this game is mainly about cooperation. I would not like to be forced into it, but I'll have to see what's happening. And those seem to be meta avatars. Although I don't know what level is representative of because this is kind of high numbers for something that released not too long ago. Sierra unit calling. The position's overrun. No chance of extraction. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Sure, I guess so. I mean, there's not much happening here. No tutorial as well, aside I from the <laughs> button controls, but we go to different. Oh, Dave, are you on the demo or uh, did you buy the game? Well, I can't talk with people. No, 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 <laughs> come back. And you're either in safe mode or you're muted. Okay, well, I'll just hop on to something and that's it. Welcome to hell, Flip City. Fight valiantly, tear down those nodes, and hustle to the x -Bill. Since I can play alone, you know, which is fine by me, even the main menu, it's a struggle to talk. So what do we have here? Very bad graphics, like low quality all across the board. Even the resolution was not that good there. Here it's like whatever.
But I hate that there are no instructions. Upwards to reload. Spot a handy zip line there. We try and take hold. Glide away from those dreadful zombies. I mean, simple as that. Though I don't know if I ever saw upwards instead of downwards. I would not consider that a good movement. Sterling advises. Fire cash, shoot to unlock, and gear up. Oh, it takes time. There are no holsters, no equipment. So it's literally just frying you in that main menu with some random people and then you just go into play mode. I mean, it is convenient in terms of the gameplay fluidity, but... The visuals do not hold up at all. Ah, uh, a node in view. Shatter it, but brace for the zombie hordes that will follow. And he's too quiet. Oh, they're fast. See, that's what I'm saying because I could accidentally. Hold my hand upwards. Really faster. And you have to do it upwards. Because it doesn't reload automatically. I wish I would save the pistols now. I mean, it is not challenging. You can just run around and they don't do anything. Yes, some will follow you, but it's like I'll be playing on the OG quest with the game quality. And because I do this, see, and that reloads, so I would more prefer to have downwards or an option to switch. There's a lot of bodies, considering the headset's limits. I 
I mean, I'm playing alone, so this is gonna take quite a while. Like, what's the goal here? I'm like bored after three minutes of pure gameplay. But they have indifferent HP. Maybe need to destroy this. There was a big one jumping from the circle, but I suppose that was the goal. I can just go though. So I will. <laughs> like two pistols for symmetrical gameplay. So I'm finding the notes, right? missed <laughs> it. Like, what's the point? That's a shield. Effects, <laughs> I swear. I think it could be time based. I don't know what's the damage mechanics here.
kinda of peace and quiet. Like I can go further, but this really ain't it. And there's a thing with games betting on co-op gameplay. Like I'm sure this is more fun. with people but you need to like serve versatility with the gameplay I don't even need to fight them. Get off me, mate! Oh my god, what's up with FPSs? Take out. I should stay upstairs though. I'll just wait out and then come back. <laughs> like indestructible. Trying to defeat them? It would suck to die here. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I guess we made it. I... This is not for me, not for our standards nowadays and... Just no. <laughs> I see the goal here because this is a very simplistic and straightforward way of pushing people into the cooperative matches, though there needs to be some quality behind the price point, especially with the price it's asking. I don't like the graphics, it's too basic, and it's mostly due to the fact that we have a high body count of zombies around. 
Settings too simplistic, I would need more adjustments and sliders going on. Gameplay is kind of fine, simplistic, though the damage relation with the enemies is kind of all over the place. Like I know I need to destroy the canisters, but it's very unlikely you'll do that to every single one enemy that you see. It has dynamic for vitre rendering, so if you look on the sides, the resolution is just pure gutter. Interactions, almost zero. There is a lot of invisible blockades with the objects and you. And now when I'm talking in my head, something's happening with the frames, so... It's just an overall no from me. Feels rather unfinished and lazy, which is kind of crazy because there's like a big discrepancy of the games that we're getting nowadays.